been learning from a wide variety of people that have been here. I'm happy to give what I give. Uh, I don't claim to know it all by any means. We're developing a field of knowledge that somehow either existed and got lost or never existed ever. We're developing a field of knowledge and that field of knowledge is being built in a variety of ways. It's being, it's being built by these athletes through their experience and all the other athletes out there through your experience. Uh, you know, I've been studying sports nutrition since 1969 and I find it a fascinating thing to learn about. Uh, I, don't, I don't know it all in that field and, and you know, when you, what was that guy's name? This bicycle guy? Asker? Asker, right? Yeah. You guys seen Asker Junik Kropen? Yep. Yeah. Um, Asker went on television and, and announced his new product. He's very excited. Asker's like, Asker's like the name in bicycle sports nutrition. Basically, he's like gym councilman in swimming mechanics or something. And and he was excited and he talked and he talked and he said. The thing that stops ultra marathon runners, ultra performance runners, the thing that stops them, they can burn eight, eight, nine hundred calories an hour, but they can only eat 300 calories an hour. They just can't take on board more than 300 calories an hour. So the absolute maximum that anybody's ever been able to do is 350 calories an hour. Well, if you're burning 900 and taking on 350, something has to give at some point. And, and he said he spent, he said, 10 years in research to come up with a new product. And he's pleased to announce that he's now ready to go into production with his new product that is going to increase carbohydrate uptake for athletes during performance by almost 50% to over 500 calories an hour. This is exciting stuff. This is huge. This is groundbreaking. This is going to make him multi-millions of dollars. When he comes out with his new product, a pill that is a combination of the secret most ingredients that will get into athletes so much better than what they're using now. And somebody actually asked him what it was. And he said, it's glucose and fructose. <laughs> It's glucose and fructose. He just found a way to sell you fruit juice for like multi-millions of dollars. He just found a way to sell you an apple in a pill and tell you that it's better than a banana. It was just, it was just astonishing that he could pull it off with a straight face. It's glucose and fructose. We've been doing this for 40 years with athletes, telling them, eat fruit while you perform. I mean, the whole cover of back, front, middle section of nutrition athletic performance filled with ultra athletes who set records drinking bananas and mango and papaya shakes. Anyway, we learn, we just keep learning. So tonight we're just gonna express it and, I, and it might be the best forum just to take some questions. I don't know if you have more you wanna say or pray that. I'm here to learn too. And I obviously don't have all the answers. And I don't have a PhD, I don't have an MD, I don't have any letters next to my name. I majored in geography and geology. But I'm curious. Geology's awesome. Geology. You know, I'm, I'm curious. Geology rocks. <laughs> Anybody have a buzzer? <laughs> so my curiosity has led me to where I am right now. And where I am right now is not going to be where I am next week or next year or whatever it is. I'm continually learning. I learned a lot from Doug. Okay, it's one of the reasons I'm sitting here. You know, it's not that I haven't, and I still learn from Doug. And, you know, he's, he's going to be researching and continuing his curiosity, and so am I, and so is Harley. And, you know, that's what it's all about. Nobody's got the answer. But hopefully they have curiosity, because that's how we come closer to the answer. So... You know, hopefully you've got curiosity, you ask questions, and you know what, we may not know the answers, but guess what, if you ask a question that I don't know the answer to, I'm gonna look it up. 
Because I want to know. You know, so your questions, hopefully, will, will educate everybody here, including the three of us. You know, that, that's exciting. That's, that's all I know. Can I go? Right. <laughs> question. No questions? Okay, thank you all very much. <laughs> Joey. I guess I want to know, I saw Tim talk the other day, and I was a bit confused with glucogeogenesis, or glucogeogenesis. Is that how you said eating fat before bedtime will protect the muscles from eating themselves? And I was just curious if, if all you guys could go into a little detail about that, because um, I didn't fully comprehend it. So I guess we'll start with Tulsa as Mike's version. Is that how we want to do it? If I don't get enough carbs, I ain't feeling good. <laughs> if Harley doesn't get enough carbs, I'm not feeling good. <laughs> All right, uh, gluconeogenesis. Gluco for sugar, neo for new, genesis for creation. It's when your body creates glucose out of other things, other substrates. Okay, there's many different things that the body can turn into glucose. Glycogen, which those of you that are athletes, uh, is the first place it goes. It breaks down your glycogen into glucose. Glycogen is a very complex branched sugar molecule that we store. And the liver can break it down, the muscles can break it down, and release it as glucose for the brain, into the bloodstream, and actually into the muscles. Uh, the body can also break down fat, okay? Uh, what used to be called triglycerides are now called triacylglycerols. And the glycerol part, okay, we'll, we'll break that down. Tri means three. Acyl is basically a fatty acid. And glycerol is a sugar molecule, okay? Or related to sugar, very similar. So a uh, triacylglycerol, or formerly triglyceride, is three fatty acids attached to a glycerol. Your body can snip off the fatty acids and use the glycerol to turn it into glucose. Okay, so it can break down your fat and produce glucose from your gl glycerol. Your body can also take amino acids and turn them into glucose. There's only, I think, two, maybe three amino acids that cannot be used uh, to form glucose. And basically, Carbohydrates, fats, and proteins are very, very similar to each other. They're predominantly carbon, hydrogen, and some oxygen. Fats have very little oxygen, but carbohydrates, carbon, hydrate, carbon, and water. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen is carbohydrate. Proteins are a little bit more complex, but they also have a lot of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in them. So the molecules can, are somewhat interchangeable so that you can rely on different fuel pathways in the body. Gluconeogenesis is not something you really want to engage. Unless you're actually in a race, in a hard effort or a long workout, your body's going to be using that liver glycogen to put glucose into the bloodstream. It's also going to be making sure that the brain has a steady supply of glucose, and the muscles are going to be breaking down their glycogen to give you a steady fuel supply while you're competing or training. And what you really ideally want is to spare your glycogen and use other sources. For instance, when Harley is under carb, when he hasn't eaten enough carbs, there's not enough glucose going into his bloodstream, the body's gonna start you know, breaking down liver glycogen to feed the brain. Uh, it's gonna start breaking down fats. Uh, it's also gonna start you know, potentially breaking down muscle glycogen or even amino acids in extreme cases. Someone who is on a calorie restriction diet and is losing weight is gonna be losing half the weight as muscle and half the weight as fat. Because when you're under calorie, your body is using glu gluconeogenesis, and half of the weight you're losing is your actual muscle tissue, okay? So sleeping, I'll get there in a sec, just wrap this, the point up, what gluconeogenesis is. Your liver glycogen is quite limited. It ranges from 80 to 200 grams, depending on your genetics and depending on your athletic training and how you've trained yourself to eat. Average person, probably 80 grams. Uh, a well-trained athlete who you know, carbo-loads and does all the, the latest techniques, 
probably two hundred grams.